What's up, guys? How are y'all doing? Uh, today is uh, May the 9th, and today uh, you should have read uh, Psalm chapter 9, Psalm chapter 39, Psalm chapter 69, Psalm chapter 129, and then also Proverbs chapter 9, uh, because that's the Psalms on the 30. And today you can read God's word anywhere. Today I am in a barber chair. Yes, that's right. And I've got a fresh cut. Woo, check that out. You can read God's word anywhere. The main thing is we've just got to open up his word. So today we're going to be reading Psalm chapter nine. And this is where it begins. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. Check it out. You can praise God, but you should praise God with your whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. We should show forth. Underline it. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name. O thou most high. That explains why my grandmother sung as much as she sang. You can go to Ephesians chapter 5. He tells us that we are to give praise to him. That's Ephesians 5, like verse 18 and 19. He says, when mine enemies, now notice here we go. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou saddest in the throne, judge and right. Thou has rebuked the heathen. Thou has destroyed the wicked. Thou has put out their name forever and ever. Who's done it? That's why he says in verse one that he is going to give praise to the Lord because it is God who goes before him. It is God who fights the battles for him. It is God who, who will be doing uh, the destroying. It is God who will be doing uh, away with that of the enemies. O thou enemy, verse 6, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord, I love the word but, but the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall, underline the words, he shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord will also, and I love this, the Lord will also be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Where should we run to? Man, if any day is today is the day uh, we're living in some strange times. Now, I tell people over and over, if there's a place that I would tell you to run to run to the Lord, uh, run and find refuge, find safety uh, in that of him and that of his word. Man, that's why we dig into his word. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. I know God. I put my trust in him. For thou, Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, that's his name, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. That means we've got to open our mouth. Uh, I remember growing up that people would tell me all the time, it's all about the walk. No, 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 no. The walk is good, but there must be the talk. We've got to declare among the people about our God, what our God has done, what our God is doing. Verse 12, when he maketh inquisition of for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble, which I suffer of them that hate me. Thou that liftest me up from the gates of death, that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made in the net in which they hid is their own foot taken. Notice, uh, it's pretty much uh, you will have to put up with the bed that you've made. I don't know. Uh, something along those lines. Um, notice verse 16, the Lord is known by the judgment which he ex executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Uh Ha, Higion, Selah, and you, let me give you the word for that one. Uh, you're going to go back. It's going to be meditation is going to be that word there in the King James. It's H-I-G-G-A-I-O-N, but that's meditation. Meditate on those things. Verse 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. Notice where they're heading to. It's death. It's not going to be anything uh, that will be that of good. Verse 18, for the needy shall not... Uh, always be forgotten and the expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. 
Arise, O Lord, let no man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. And then notice verse 20, and he closes. This is David. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. We are but a man when it comes to that of God. Uh, who are we? We're nothing. Uh, God is the God of all. And so we should remind ourselves daily that my God is in control. My God will make sure that things happen exactly the way that my God wants them to happen. And we are but men in this journey. So listen, you can read God's word anywhere. Uh, today, I'm in the barber chair. And uh, that means that you can uh, read it in the forklift like I was on Thursday. You can read it anywhere. Guys, listen, open it up, soak it up, let it change your life. Y'all have a good day. See ya.